Next, next tool. So this one's really important. This, this modification tool is, looks simple at first, but there's, there's a lot of importance to it. You'll notice that it looks like a little square becoming a big square, right? This is the scale tool. This is the scale tool. I think maybe we've gone over this before, but if we haven't, um, I think it's a really good reminder of why, why this feature is special. So um, once again, I'm not in the scale tool right now. I'm just going to draw a star. And I'm going to set the stroke to five points. And you'll notice that I can scale the object by using the bounding box, right? So I can scale the object by using the bounding box. And if I hold shift down on a corner, I, I create what's called a proportional scale, a one-to-one -one ratio on the width and the height. But what I don't have control over right now is percentage of scale. So let's say my client says it needs to be exactly twice the size. I can't, I can't do that off the bounding box. So that's one problem, right? The second problem is when I scale it, is the stroke staying five points or is it scaling up with it? Well, I do have a choice, but where do I control that choice? And the choice is controlled in the scale tool. Okay, so that's where you change the feature for that. So let's see what it's doing right now. If I scale my object up, you'll notice that the stroke is scaling up with it. Okay, so that means that stroke or uh, miscellaneous features are activated to scale along with it. So let's double click on the scale tool. You'll notice that when I get to the scale tool, well, first of all, I can scale now at a sp specific percentage. Like I said, my client could say, it needs to be twice the size. Well, I type in 200, hit OK, and now I know that I scaled it twice the size. All right, so I have that control. But what else is important here is if you look really carefully in options, you'll notice that you have a feature that's active that says scale strokes and effects. All right, and then this one says scale corners. So you, sh you might want to have these options on or off. You might want to have them on or off. It depends on what you're trying to achieve. Okay, so if I'm making an illustration where um, there's a style of il illustration called mono weight. You guys ever hear that term, mono weight? Mono weight means that all of the lines are the same thickness. Okay, so that's a style. So if I have different stars, whoops, excuse me, different stars, and I scale this up, you'll notice that they're the same weight, right? So that they're all going to be the same weight as I scale them up or down, right? So that might be a reason where I don't want the strokes to change, right? I might work in an illustration where I want it to look proportionately correct. In other words, as I scale the object, I want the stroke to scale with it. So in that case, I would want scale, strokes, and effects to be activated on it. So in that case, when I scale the star up, the weight scales up with it. Does that make sense, everybody? So it just depends on what you're trying to achieve when you're illustrating things. All right, so, but that's where it's controlled. Um, I need to be aware that the scale tool allows me to change whether or not I can scale those features in this panel. Okay? Any concerns or questions?